very good morning children welcome back to our recorded classes and this is ma'am anna rajshweka your english teacher children i still haven't received most of your presentations unless you all send me the presentation i will not be able to share your marks i'll give you all time till this weekend please see that you send it as soon as possible so let's start with today's session then children before we start off with today's class let me tell you what i will be covering in today's session in today's session we will do a recap of what was taught in the previous class we will also continue the lesson god is love page number 28 29 and 30 we will look into some vocabulary and then of course grammar the sentence and lastly your assignments children now the sentence what i'm teaching you all is not in your all in one reader this is very much important for you all for the next year okay so you will have to pay attention to what is being taught and watch the complete video i will definitely put up enough of examples and definitions also will be given for you all okay children children in case you missed out on anything that i thought in the last class that's okay let's do a quick recap on what we learned in the previous class in the previous class we did learn a new lesson god is love and we saw that there was this humble man called martin who was a cobbler and he knew everyone in that street by their boots and there was no one who did not come to martin to get their shoe repaired martin had lost his wife and children but never stopped reading bible one day when martin was sleeping he heard a voice called him martin martin and the voice said that i will come to see you tomorrow martin was surprised but the next day when he got up he was thinking whether it was a dream or did god really talk to him so when martin was sitting and doing his work he saw his friend stepanik who was cleaning the snow off the window so and he was very weak martin felt pity on him called him inside and offered him a cup of tea and once when stepanik had drank that he poured him some more stepanik thanked him and went off when stepanik went off Martin just started to work again he saw a woman standing with a baby in her arms and the baby was crying and she was trying to calm the baby and the woman was very untidily dressed Martin calls her inside and asks her to sit near the stove and warm herself so till here i thought you in the previous class and we also did look into some word meanings and some synonyms then in grammar we learned the usage of some few and any correct children let's start off the lesson god is love page 28 we'll start with the sixth para Martin spread a cloth on the table and served her some cabbage soup and bread. While she was eating, Martin put the baby on the bed and sat down by it. He played with the baby and was very happy when it stopped crying. The woman told him a sad story. A husband who was a soldier had gone out on duty 8 months earlier. She had not heard of him since. and she told martin how she struggled to find some work for herself but with little success martin noticed that she had no warm clothing he took out some old clothing and gave it to her the lord bless you friend she said to him and she took the clothing after the woman had gone martin ate some soup cleared the things away and sat down to work again Every time a shadow fell on his window he looked up at once to see who was passing after some time he saw an old woman st- 
stopped just in front of his window. She carried a large basket with a few apples in it. As she stopped for rest, a poor boy ran up, picked up an apple from the basket and tried to run. But the old woman caught him by his sleeve. She scolded him and threatened him to take him to the police. Page 29. Martin, who was observing it all, ran out into the street and separated them. He took the boy by the hand and said, Let him go, Granny. Forgive him. I'll take the rascal to the police, she shouted. Martin persuaded her to release the boy. He made the boy ask her forgiveness. The boy promised not to do it again. Martin took an apple from the basket and gave it to the boy. You'll spoil him that way. He ought to be whipped, said the old woman. That's our way, Granny. It's not God's way, said Martin, and asked who should whip for our sins. And Martin told them stories from the Bible to show how the Lord forgave everyone. The old woman and the boy listened and his words changed them. As the woman picked up a basket, the boy offered to help to carry it for her. And they went down the street together, talking cheerfully to each other. Page 30. When they were out of sight, Martin went back into his house. It was getting dark. He lightened his lamp and sat down to read the Bible. Then he heard a voice say, Martin, Martin, don't you know me? Who is it? asked Martin. It's me, said the voice. I came to you three times today. Didn't you recognize me? Martin was full of great joy and he began reading the Bible when just where it had opened. I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. And Martin understood that his dream had come true. The Lord had really come to him that day and he had welcomed him. Children, I have read the lesson for you all. I want you all to read the lesson with intonation the way I did. And mark all the new words in the reader with a pencil. Children, last time we saw that Martin noticed a lady standing outside near the window with a baby and the baby was crying. She was a stranger but still Martin called her inside. He not only called her inside but also gave her some cabbage soup. I've put up a picture of cabbage for those who don't know how a cabbage looks and also the cabbage soup. So while the lady was eating, he took the baby and he was playing with the baby till the baby could stop crying. After the woman ate the bread and the cabbage soup, she told Martin her sad story. Her husband is a soldier and he had gone to war eight months back and didn't return yet. So she doesn't know what happened to him and this poor lady was struggling to find a job. Finally, she gets a job but is not very happy with it. But still she has to continue, right? Because she has to feed the baby. So then Martin saw that she did not have enough clothes, warm clothes. So Martin very kindly gives her some clothes as well. She takes the clothes and tells Martin, God bless you, my friend, and goes away. Then Martin also ate some soup and he was sitting and doing his work and every time whenever there was a shadow by the window he used to go and see who it was why he had to go to the window and see often because he heard a voice right that i will be coming today so he wanted jesus to come or he wanted god to come to his house so every time there was a shadow he used to go and see then as he was working he sees an old woman carrying a big basket of apple. So Martin was watching all this 
And while she put the basket down, there was a little naughty boy who picked up an apple and he tried to run. But she caught him by the sleeve and told that I'm going to take you to the police. The boy got scared. Now the Martin who was watching all this went out and requested the granny to leave the boy. But she said, no, he must be punished. So then Martin says, for all what we are doing, for who will punish us? He also takes one apple from the basket and gives it to the boy. The granny gets angry and she says, you're spoiling the boy. Then Martin tells both, that is the boy and the granny, a moral story from the Bible. After listening to the story, the granny and the boy realized the mistake and the boy said he will never repeat it again. The granny also asked sorry for what she did. And then the granny was lifting the basket. The little boy helped her and both of them became friends and they were laughing and talking and going down the lane. So once they left, Martin again sat to read the Bible. By, because by the time all these happened, it became dark and it was evening. So while Martin was reading the Bible, he heard the voice call him again, Martin, Martin, I came thrice. Did you not recognize me? Martin was very happy. He continued reading the Bible and there was a verse. A verse means there was a line which he read, I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. So the verse exactly was meant for Martin. I was hungry and you gave me meat, which means that this is for the woman. She was very hungry, right? And she was a stranger as well. And then he gave a stepanage cup of tea and then also the the old man and the boy so all this three martin helped correct so god came in three different ways and martin didn't know that it was god who came so martin understood that it was not a dream but his dream came true three times god appeared to him in three different ways and he helped them children hope you all understood the lesson and it was interesting isn't it so sometimes we don't realize that it is god who is coming in the form of others that's why children we always say help help as much as you can it's not that if you don't have even if you don't have you should help no keep enough for yourself and help others do small small things to help others you, you can help your parents or if you find someone carrying uh, a basket or carrying a heavy bag, go try and help them. Or even if, if someone is coming to your house and asking for water, even if you don't know them, give them a glass of water. Small, small things you can help and that will make you also happy and the other person also happy. So this is a very good lesson, children. And always remember, anything that you want, pray, pray to God, children. Pray does miracles i've experienced it so hope you all like the lesson children here are some word meanings for you all struggled to experience difficulty and make a very great effort in order to do something success the achieving of the results wanted or hoped for threatened to be likely to cause harm or damage to something or someone. Rascal, a mischievous person, especially a child or a man. Ought, used to indicate duty or correctness. Whipped, to strike a person or thing with several strokes of a strap, rod, etc. Let's look at some antonyms now. Weak, strong, comfort, distress, Agony, cried, laughed, mumbled, caught, dropped, freed, rest, 
work. Separated, united, listened, ignore. Stranger, friend, soulmate. Let's move on to the most important part of a session. Sentences. What are sentences all about? The sentence. Children, last year you did learn about the sentence. Now, we will look at it once again. All right. A group of words that makes a complete sense or expresses a complete thought is called a sentence. Let's look at some examples now. There are two types of sentence, one to your left and one to your right. Let's look what is to the left first. Has a dog. Does it make complete sense, children? Has a dog is a sentence, but does it make sense? No. Let's look at the sentence at the right now. Brian has a dog. So the boy named Brian has a dog. Now it makes sense, isn't it? So the sentence on my left is not a sentence, but the sentences on to my right are the correct sentence with sense. So these are the examples for sentences. Let's look at the second one. My sister's cat. Yes, of course, it makes sense. My sister's cat, which means it's talking about my sister's cat. But it would be a complete sentence if it is like this. My sister's cat is brown, which means it is specifying the color as well. Wants to go to the park. Who wants to go to the park? Let's see. My brother wants to go to the park. Jocelyn likes the... It's not complete. The sentence is not complete, right? Jocelyn likes the new puppy, right? So it makes sense. So a sentence, children, must be complete and also should make sense. Hope you all have understood what a sentence is. Always when we write a sentence, a sentence has two parts. The first part is a subject and the second part is the predicate. Let's see what subject and predicate stands for. So let's see the definition for subject and predicate children. First, we'll look at subject. Subject, the naming part of a sentence in the subject. It tells who or what the sentence is about. Predicate, the telling part of a sentence is the predicate. It tells what happened. Children, now the subject in a sentence is about whom we are talking. Okay, and the predicate is what is done by the subject? Let's look at the example. The rabbit ate the carrot. Now here, about whom are we talking? We are talking about the rabbit. So the rabbit becomes the subject. What is the rabbit doing? It ate the carrot. So ate the carrot becomes the predicate. Hope you all understood children. Let's look at some more examples. Amy held a pencil. Whom are we talking about here? We are talking about Amy. So Amy becomes the subject. And what did she do? She held a pencil. So held a pencil becomes the predicate. Let's look at the next sentence. Johnny wore a hat. So whom are we talking about? We're talking about Johnny. So he is the subject. What did he do? He wore a hat. That becomes the predicate. Usually the first part is a subject and the second part will be the predicate. But you will have to pay attention. Sometimes the subject is not always the first part. It might come in the end as well. So you'll have to very you'll have to be very careful. You have to read the sentence and identify. And look at the third one. He looked happy. Whom are we talking about? We are talking about him. So he will become the subject looked happy will become the predicate the star is blue what are we talking about we are talking about the star so the star is the subject is blue will become the predicate he is holding a star so he is a subject and is holding a star 
will become the predicate. Always remember this children about whom or what we are talking is the subject and what the subject is doing or what is done to the subject is the predicate. Hope you all have understood and these examples are more than enough. And now is my turn to ask you all questions. So it's question time now. Please listen carefully. I have put up the questions. You will have to either write down and send it to me or you will have to type your answers and quickly send it to me if you want a round of applause from me in the group. Let's see who will be the first one to send it to me. Your first question, what happened to the lady's husband? Did Martin see God? What is a subject? Give an example sentence for predicate. Let's quickly recap what we learned in today's session. We completed the lesson God is love. We did look into some word meanings and we also learned some antonyms. And then of course we learned what the sentences and the two parts of the sentence. In the next class children, we will see the kinds of sentences. We will learn more about the kinds of sentences in the next class. Now let's look at your classwork and homework, what has to be done. I will be sending notes for God is love via WhatsApp. You will have to copy it neatly into your English classwork. And for grammar, you will have to take a new book children for grammar and start writing the definitions what is being sent, the sentence, okay? So use this book for grammar, only for grammar. So for English, you will have one book for classwork, one book for homework, one book for grammar, and one for your CTN. All right, children, for your homework, I will be sending a worksheet via WhatsApp and that has to be written in your homework book. I will be sending a worksheet. You will have to read it carefully and write it in your homework book. The worksheet is about subject and predicate children. So hope you all have understood what is being taught and also what your homework and classwork is. Okay, children. Please go through your readers again and again and also start completing your classwork and homework and send it on time, children. All right. Until we meet in the next class, this is Ma'am Anna Rajshekar signing off. Take care. Bye.